Welcome to the flip classroom on rates and ratios. In this lesson, you will watch a video, you will complete notes on your think up pages, and then take a pre-assessment that tells us where you will go on the pathway this week. For this lesson, you will need think up page 130. Please make sure you also have a pencil, highlighter, or color pencil to highlight or circle important information. Let's start by talking about writing ratios in different forms. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. In a ratio, the value must be in the correct positions. The ratio of triangles to circles is two triangles to four circles. This ratio may be written as two to four, two colon four, and two over four. The ratio of circles to triangles is four circles to two circle, two triangles. The ratio may be written as four to two, four colon two, and four over two. You can also discuss writing equivalent ratios. In order to write equivalent ratios, you would do that as you would write equivalent fractions. Change both the numerator and the denominator by multiplying or dividing by the same value. Keep corresponding values in the correct position. Let's write two ratios that are equivalent to the ratio two triangles to four circles. Two triangles to four circles is the same as 12 triangles to 24 circles. We know that because we can multiply two times six and four times six to get 12 over 24. Let's try two triangles over four circles and one triangle over two circles. We can get this equivalent ratio by dividing by two. Two divided by two is one and four divided by two is two. Two to four is equivalent to 12 to 24 and one to two. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and answer the questions accordingly. Number one, write the ratio of circles to triangles using words. Pause the video and answer the question. When we write this ratio, we're going to write circles to triangles. Remember that order matters. So that's one circle to three triangles. Write the ratio of circles to triangles in three different forms. Pause the video and write that information down. There are three ways to write the, the ratio. If we're doing circles to triangles, we would have 1 to 3, 1 colon 3, or 1 over 3. Remember, you can write ratios as a fraction using the word 2 or using a colon. Write the ratio of triangles to circles in words. Pause the video and write this information down. In order to write the ratio of triangles to circles in words, you would literally write three triangles to one circle. Number four, write the ratio of triangles to circles in three different forms. Pause the video and write this information down. We know the ratio for triangles to circles is going to be three to one, three colon one, or three over one. Now, let's use the table to answer questions 5 through 8. The table shows the relationship between the lengths and widths of four rectangles. Write a ratio that describes the multiplicative comparison of width to length. Pause the video and write that information down. All right, so the multiplicative comparison is going to be, we basically we're going to figure out what we are going to simplify this situation to. Remember that order matters and we're comparing width to length. So if I compare six to eight, that can simplify to three fourths. The multiplicative comparison is three fourths. Write two e additional equivalent ratios not shown in the table. Pause the video and write down some options. 
All right, here are some options that you can use as equivalent ratios. Your answers may vary, but please make sure that it simplifies to the same problem. Width, it will be 18, and length will be 24. So we can write that as 18 to 24. Number seven, the length of each rectangle is blank times the width of each rectangle. This will be a fraction. Pause the video and figure out what fraction that will be. The length of each rectangle is four thirds times the width of each rectangle. Last one, based on the table, what is the width of the rectangle when the length is 28 inches? We know that the length of the, of the rectangle is 28 inches, so the width would be 21 inches. Remember, both 21 over 28 can be simplified by dividing by seven, which gives us three fourths. This concludes this video. Please watch part two and then complete the pre-assessment.